Hey, uh, hey, Herbert. Hello. What, uh, what is that? Oh, um, do you want me to clean it up? I want to know what it is and where it came from. Oh, it inside of me. Where? Which part? Honestly, I, I, I don't... Sometimes things just come out. And it glows like the sun. Sometimes. What is it? I don't know. Which means you don't know. This radiant orb of energy has expunged itself from you and is laying upon the ground. Look, I'm sorry. If that happened to you, would you know what it was? Have you not inspected it? I tried, but then I, I went blind. That explains the stare. I'm so sorry. I'm going to pick it up. You try that. Just careful with your eyes. Excuse me? Why was there a glowing Kelby horn inside you? Oh, that explains it. What does it explain? I was just hanging out with my buddy Kezu the other day. What? Well, he just he told me he had this cool snack he thought I might like. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. You know, it's this bit that he doesn't like eating, but like, he knows that I like hard shells and stuff. So you crunched on a Kelby horn. Yeah, that makes so much sense now. And that the glowing must be the inside. And it might be the essence of immortality. That explains so much about my life. Too bad I spit it up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The salt water, it's okay. So I just drown when I welcome people to things. It's like, hey, how you doing? Welcome. It makes it really hard to be a greeter. I don't know why I chose why to you, be a greeter. Why is spinning and drowning like the a thing that you are associating together? Well, because as soon as you go into the water, you know, you're just like. Whoa. Or is that just how you picture drowning? Is like, I would only drown if I was spinning. I would only spin if I was drowning. To be fair, it's hard to drown without struggling, I suppose, because like, you wouldn't just like let it, like your body wouldn't physically just allow it to happen. Okay. I don't like that the barrel bends. Oh yeah, the barrel, it's like, a, it's like a section. Why does the barrel- like a, like a millipede centipede barrel. It's like a mascot barrel outfit. Like it's made of foam, that's not a barrel. Not, I mean, surely he's weak to fire. Not all wood is weak to fire. No! Oh. No, it's a, it was a nice one, buddy. Didn't you see? Yeah, nice one. We made this cat in a barrel run away. It was a threat. If I recall correctly, we tried to fight that last time and it absolutely decimated Yeah, I, I feel like that's not a good idea for us, considering how a Kezu just treated us. I'm going to learn! Yeah, it's learning time. Learning! Plus, surely, surely if it's literally this close to the edge of this massive city, it's not really that... Like, they don't need it taken out. God, have you ever seen a more relaxed Aptanon? No, he loves it here. This is a vacation home. There's not even other Aptanon. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. It's just like, have you seen the Sakura this time of years? Oh my god. I'll be honest with you guys. My herd migrated years ago, but my legs don't work oh, anymore. Oh, it's a slug to north. I, I understand. Every once in a while, children come out and feed me grass. And that's my cousin over there who has the same affliction. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, not him, but he's fine. Uh, that one. Oh, wow, that's unfortunate. So are you going to give me food so I can survive? You can have a ping. Does that help? Yeah, look, there's some food right there. No, that's my arm. That's my arm. Right there, look, a blue flower. Oh, that? Yeah. It's a bit of, can you, like, get that for me? No. Good luck! Hello? I'm so lonely. Oh, my God. Okay. Apparently, I really had to look at this. It's like the nerdiest dragon statue. It does look like it would push up its glasses in your direction. You know what it is? It's fucking Randall from Monsters, Inc. Randall. Is it Randall? Is that correct? Randy Man? No, it's not Randy Man. <laughs> I think Randall is, is um, fucking Recess. Randy Man from Monsters, Inc. You know, so it also does look character. like that guy from, from Recess. Oh, I loved Recess. I liked the episode where there was like a... Uh, uh, and an adult that was spying and pretending to be a child, and it's all really fucked up when you think about it logically. We've been in the city for five seconds. What do you mean everyone's keeping it? We walked past one whole person. And also, I would look at this group weirdly as well. Before all these hunters around here start hunting our monsters. Yeah, before things turn ugly? Like, what, do you think everyone's going to start beating you like, up? Like, from their perspective, we've just run into the city as a child being chased by a Yankut coup. Like, the fact it's not already being stabbed to death is... That has a cat riding on its back. That has a cat riding on it. So the fact it's not already been stabbed to death is incredible. I guess they've got work after us. Maybe they just think this is a work young Kutku. That after off is not connected at all. He's just stood there. I don't understand. Maybe he just, he's just like a... He just, you know, if, if I fits, I sits. <laughs> yeah, he just backed up into this little compartment like lovely. Protection for my rear. If I pretend to be the pack animal. Then they'll feed to be me. fair, I bet they love that because it's a protection for their weak spot. But I want to go to the Smithman. No, nope, need to need to go to the Gelmaster first. Oh, what? Oh, it's a wide Gypsaros lad. Well, it's just a regular Gypsaros lad. Right? It's the armor that's wide. Why do kids stand so cool in this world? I think they just don't have actual arms. <laughs> It's just, he just lends at the elbow. You know what it is? That's like one of those travel pillows that you put around your neck. Yeah, yes, no, 
and he doesn't have arms. <laughs> oh, you it makes so much sense now. Oh, that poor child. He's dreaming about what if he had arms. If I had arms, maybe I could ride a monster. Look at his face. But I look so fancy. Look at my insect hat. It is fancy. How do you know? We've been here literally 30 seconds. Your antics like walking into the town. Suspicious. Oh, bunch. You're a suspicious brunch, but I'll eat you anyways. You're a suspicious bitch. <laughs> What a suspicious bitch you are. <laughs> yeah, you little suspicious And your bitch. weird child friend, too. It's literally just Omni in a different outfit, and you cannot convince me otherwise. No. I come here and pretend to be the guild master so I don't have to rhyme. Well, I mean, he's not rhyming, so there's no way. I think it is the same voice actor they used for Omni, too. Yeah, like, I, it is, it's genuine. Like, it's the exact same face. He's just changed his hair and put on different clothes. Yeah. Yeah, have you? Yeah, from your old uh -huh. friend, the chief of Hackham Village. Yeah, your old air quotes friend, is it? How do you feel about rhyming, huh, guild master? Huh? Huh? Why does he... The Wato just constantly sounds like this. his hunter friends let what? down and whisp, whispered into his ear. So, yeah. oh. what ho? <laughs> no, I just picture there's just like, there's just like someone behind him who keeps trying to get his attention and he keeps <laughs> trying to just talk to us. He's like, what ho? <laughs> <laughs> the attitude on this tiny freaky Wyveria. Well, he man. shouldn't have brought his hoe to this conversation. Well, he should have been so tiny and freaky. What's he wanting? Look, I think being tiny and freaky is what got him the hoe. <laughs> They love Tiny Freaky Wyverian. All right. Okay. Welcome! I got nervous and just said welcome and not any of the other information. Rathalos. Ah, yes. correct! One point! I've just realized that this outfit is also a thigh outfit because of course... Especially in a game for children. <laughs> like, God's sake. I think it's 15. Not that that makes it any better at all. It's, we it's weird, isn't it? Like, as, 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 I said, as I said last time, just like... <laughs> Yeah, him in the corner is great. <laughs> like, that should just be the, the permanently in every video that we have. Is just <laughs> that, just on, layered over everything is that face. I agree. Yeah, as we said last time, there's a lot a lot of logical parts of this game that, like, if you think too much into them, you, you can definitely think too much. Like, is there a canonical age for... I want to say it's 15, but I don't know where I'm getting that from. You know, stories too, they deliberately aged them up, so it wasn't weird. That was a thing they made a point of. We're 11. Yeah, we are 11. The anime says 11, so... Yeah... All of all of the char all of the main characters except refer to it, we're eleven years old. That it's eleven, like doesn't even make sense. Like Pokemon no. is one thing because of how it works, but like Monsty right eleven. Like, why are people not more freaked out that there's a child running around? Yeah, like, it's actually a lot scarier. This eleven year old child just ridden into town on a fucking Yankuk coup. Also, we're finding like, are we? Surely we're like twenty times stronger than hunters as well. If we can do this, what we do as a child. That's actually a really good point. Like we're manually fighting monsters as well. Like, are we like mega hunters? Anyway, correct. Rathalos, one point. Rathian. Oh, is that your final answer? Rathian. Correct. Two points. What's it gonna be? And could Q knows. Nursilla. Wow, that took a bit of thinking, though. That was what I thought it was. I was just trying to make sure there wasn't anything else it could overlap with. I bet you Googled it, didn't you? I bet you Googled Nursilla Rama, you cheating, cheating, lying bastard. I wish I could Google that fast, honestly. Next up. Uh, uh, I'm struggling. I can't. Not not a Cantor. No, a cannon. A cannon. Ignactor, there we go. Ignactor. Ignactor. Is that your final answer? Yes. Wrong, you idiot! Yeah, it's Kishala Deora. <laughs> Then why did you drop a point, you bumpkin? Because it's orange for some reason, and it confused me. It is me. much brighter orange than it normally is. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm talking to the... <laughs> There's a chief, yeah. <laughs> just playing imaginary games from ahead while walking towards them. Were they just there like, oh, no, this child. I was pretty scared of you, too, when I first met you, buddy. What? What? I love him just staring at him blankly and then blinking. That's the exact perfect response to that. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Just... What? Uh, okay. <laughs> What ho? Oh, they're the hoes. You can't just say that, Guildmaster. Those sweetheart so sisters. Oh, what ho? <laughs> those, are, those are the ones that have been over his shoulder the whole time. I always ask for the sweetheart sisters. Oh, yes, let me tell oh, you. Oh, what, what ho? <laughs> it obeys you. It obeys you. <laughs> Did we tell it to sit or something? I love it when monsters obey you. Yeah, it's actually quite, like, domineering, thinking about it. It's like a mystical stone that forces it to listen to me. Yeah, it's basically mind control, honestly. But, like, in a friendship it way. It really is. It's like magical, like, slavery. It's like friendship slavery, you know? Friendship, yeah. It's like friendly slavery. Like, where the, th the, the, the thing in question is yeah, undeniably like, your slave, but you are besties with them. It's you like know? if you were to walk up 
to something as it was just brought into existence. You just sort of like showed a flashy rock at it, and if it like had any response at all, you would consider that just acceptance of its life into slavery. <laughs> <laughs> Go and see the hunter Roberto. We will help you settle in, Watto. That's not how I would describe Roberto. I can't tell if she was being sarcastic or not. Yeah, I can't either. Like that was so on the line that I couldn't tell. Never mind, she knows how to get to his house. <laughs> to be fair, she looks like she could be Roberto's sister. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, you didn't realize that? No, no. It's Mel, Muffy, and Lemon. I thought it was just two of them talking the entire time. I mean, one of them did only say like the first line, to be fair. Yeah, one of them forgot their socks. Oh yeah, one of them did forget their socks. I'm trying to play spot the difference. I think it is just that. Uh, socks and the hair. I think the boots are different because you can see a bit of the just, black Just the middle them, one, I think. But you would be able to see skin equivalent. Ah, but I think it's just clipping. Oh, it might actually just be clipping, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we might sit the mystery. What, what Let's stop analyzing these animated women's feet and move forwards. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yankuku. I know. I just needed to know. Was it a shoe hole or was it clipping? Well, I'm blind, so I don't understand. Also, I don't remember it being this long till you get Rathalos back. This is quite ridiculous. Yeah, I think we're around the point. Oh, bloody quiz. Please don't just brute force it. <laughs> we can just see how much an herb costs to sell. I'll never give up! It would take seconds. It's definitely not 30. You never know! Okay. Two down. Well, thankfully, you didn't go for one. I thought you were going to go for the least likely ones first. Ha ha! Easy! Easy quiz, you little shit! It's easy when we can just take the quiz as many times as possible. I like how the first time you didn't even actually read the questions properly, too. You just started going for brute force without even thinking about it. <laughs> Equip the meaty smash. Yeah, you need a meaty smash for that. I think I just got propositioned by that man. Sure did. You are an 11-year-old. <laughs> Look, we need to stop focusing on that and remembering it, or it's just going to make this whole adventure very complicated. Look, it's the only reason is because we looked it up. Now I can't forget I, it. I also was looking up at the same time and someone was asking the question and then someone replied with, look, it doesn't matter. Your character can be anywhere from 10 to 300. Just choose what makes you happy. And it's like, that's... That's not... That's a, no. <laughs> that's a strange take there, buddy. <laughs> well, once you start going down that path, you're going down that path. I just want to know what chose the parameters of 10 to 300. Anything outside of that, yeah, obviously that's weird, but 10 maybe, to 300. Maybe, maybe Wyverians? How did he already fill you in? We left him and walked here. Uh, he, he told us about it beforehand. Every time I see stables, I think it says stabbies. <laughs> you can use the backyard to stab. It's the game I play with my friends. They're not alive anymore. Even our hunters are hesitant about taking this royal Ludro. Come on, what are you doing? I mean, God? think about the fact that Roberto just said no to some bugs. <sighs> yeah, but I thought that's because they're too far below him. Pathetic. No, it's because he's scared of bugs. And I love that they give monsters titles in this world. Like, not their actual biological titles. They just come up with a cool a cool moniker for them to make the quest sound spicier. You know, like the the the, the, the king of the jungle, you know? Like, we do that kind of thing. Name one. The King of the Jungle. Oh, shit, yeah. Right, fine, name two. <sighs> Don't ask me questions. Looks like uh, you lose. I am 100% certain there are some. My brain just doesn't work properly. Name me two. It's a low bar, man. You've already got one. I just need one more. The fish, the chicken of the sea. Yeah, man, the chicken of the sea. Tuna, tuna chicken of the sea. That's a thing that people say. Not a thing people say. It is genuinely. You can look that up right now. That'll be on cans. That'll be on cans. I think you say that'll be on camera. I'll give you one if you want. As much as I'm, I would like to take take. Well, I mean, I already gave you the second one. So. Take the W. No, a real one. That was a real one. Okay, pigeon. Rat of the sky. Flying rat. Rat of the sky. How about how about sea lion? What about sea lion? They're sea lions. That's just their actual name. Their species name. I do find it interesting how many like other animal but with other name word in front of it like sea lion and seahorse etc like at what point Bob bobcat yeah, at what point did animals stop getting their own unique name and just started being named after already named animals but also fucking seahorse how does that like what fucking resemblance does it have to a horse the head shape is incredibly horse like it's got the long elongated snout it's like almost identical yeah, but so many animals have long snouts. That's not a weird thing. They just—they really do look like horses from the neck up. The body, yeah, fair enough. But from the neck up, they're—they're quite—they're quite on it. And how, well, then why not horse heads? 
or horse faces. But it does mean that if, if seahorses were first to be discovered, would they have been called horses and then we'd have land horse? No, I think they would have been called, like, squabblers and there would have been land squabblers. And I would like to, like, recommend that as a good secondary name for seahorse if we ever get tired of that. If we ever get tired of it. <laughs> just to, what? Well, I just think if we want to give them their Every own Every hundred name. years, let's just rename everything just to, just to switch it up a little bit. I think that would be fun. Like, we could even do it as, like, a group project among all the languages and create a new language. Like, that everyone knows. We already have a lingua franca. I don't speak French. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fair enough. You, you did learn that you're not actually any kind of uh, French anymore, so you're not allowed to know No, it. there's no French in here. There's no French all up in there. Just pure, boring Canadian. What? What? Why is it boring to you? It's, it's probably boring to you, because you don't have anything fancy anymore. What do you mean I don't have anything fancy? The French was the boring part. <laughs> Sorry, you wanted to eradicate the boring bit of Frenchness from you. Yes, it's gone now. I didn't realize it wasn't you just found out you don't have any French blood. It was that you expunged it. Yeah, it was that I used to, and I'd just been slowly just, like, meditating it out of my body. Yes, yeah, slowly been ciphering it I away. I think it's the time I've been spending with you. You've just been, like, trying to steal it from me so that I don't have it anymore. Oh, I mean, definitely not steal it. Well, yeah, steal was the wrong word. It was more just release. It, it nulls it. Like, you know, it's... it's uh, yeah, you've been actively removing... Like an acid in a base. You, you know, you just can't... Yeah, you, you can't be French for right. too long when you spend this much time around an English Yeah, book. you've just been removing it bit by bit while I'm asleep. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he's hitting hard. I think maybe I think maybe we've been doing less farming than the game wants us. No, 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 no. We are on an adventure. We're doing a story and we're having a lovely time. You need to tap harder, man. You need to tap harder. You don't see you helping. I don't have any control. Yeah, but you could do it just, you know, for fun, just to like really What do I, what do you want me to do? I'm tapping my knee. Does that help you? Are you doing it like in a in a hillbilly way? No, that would be slapping. That would be like Oh shit, yeah. That got me right in my funny bone, but on the leg. It's another power attack! Yes, Blob! I'm half shot! Yeah, Blorb mix. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice! That's how you always pair an 11 year old with a shark. You always do pair an 11 year old with a shark, give the 11 year old a giant sword, and have it fight a giant monster. They fight and sink, and it's really powerful. Well, I guess the shark is also, like, the equivalent 11-year-old of a shark. That is true, so it does make sense. It's more like a 3-year-old, isn't it? We're essentially a small child walking around with a group of toddlers and aiming them at- Yeah, but when the toddlers in question are, like, giant bioweapons, it's, uh, it's a bit more alarming. Like, I mean, what is this? Why does level your all have control of this? But, like, why- Like, that face we have, like, heh <laughs> this is gonna hurt. It occurred to me earlier, like, it occurred to me earlier as well, like, the, the size difference between our Zamtrios and the big Zamtrios was massive. How- how is our toddler so strong? It's the condensed stroll. It's- it's ninja theory. See- People like to really hype up ants, right? Like, they're like, uh -huh. oh, they're so strong, they can lift, like, ten times their body weight. If they were the size of a yeah. human, they could, like, bench press a car. And it's like, okay, yeah, fine. But if an ant was the size yeah. of a human, it would collapse under the weight of its own fucking ne exoskeleton. So, it's not all that impressive, is it? I have to imagine it would scale. No, it wouldn't scale, because there isn't the atmosphere to support an insect that large anymore, so it would just fucking die. So, it's not... It's not like, it's just, it's a tiny land, okay? So, a human is closer to bench pressing a car than an ant is, is all I'm saying. Well, if you get a small car, then you could probably do it. To be fair, I bet a, a small, like, you can get a, you can get a car that probably weighs half a ton, right? Like, the tiniest little, like, maybe like a one, those, yeah. those little cute one-seaters or something. And that's, that's comfortably, I say comfortably, by, comfortably. you know, world record bodybuilders, bench, uh, deadliftable. So you could lift a car. Yeah, it would be, it's, it's possible. The spider is asleep. Take one of its babies and leave before it notices. I am going to take one of its babies and leave. What ho? What the hell is this? That's a, that's a fish, isn't it? I think it's a fish. Shit. Well, remember the strat. The strat is you don't press. Oh, it, well, it went away to the tech. Strat failed me. All right, we got it. We got it. Well, good night, cool world. I guess we've been kicked out of there. Oof. The next day. We did nothing for the rest of that day, but the next day. The one after that day. That's when shit got really crazy. And it was so fucking crazy, you have no idea. Why are they all shocked? Like, wow, you could kill a monster by using another monster? Five of them? That's fucking crazy. Why didn't I think of that? Like, have you heard of Turf Wars? No, I don't think they have. And if you happen to kill some, uh, some ants along the way, that's, uh, not my problem. I told you, bro. I'm just Roberto. <laughs>
<laughs> How do we not have a giant ant monster, by the way? Bust us over that. Oh, wilds would be the perfect place for a giant ant monster. There, there are, like, a, a lot of missing opportunities for big insect-type creatures, I guess. Yeah, I mean... I guess it's just the idea of, like, there's so many things that would happen. Barely any of them have been done, I so. guess it's just the problem of, like, for every one of those, you would need to make such a unique skeleton that you can't really use it for more and replicate it. We're gonna go to the forest. We're gonna forest. And I'm gonna try and find some mushrooms, and there will probably be some congalala. It's gonna forest. Child looks ancient. Yeah, that is that is not a child. That is a grand. His name is kind grandpa. Oh, is yes. I thought grandpa was his like kid. I'll name. be honest with you. Just because they're born without arms doesn't mean that they always stay young. <laughs> Deliver a paw print stamp. Also, they should just remove the end so it's kid grandpa, and then you really wouldn't know. Maybe heights and ages are just weird in, in this world, because like I mean, to be fair, this guy's like a foot tall. Like people do get shorter with age that is like an actual thing there's like a there's like a curve but it's not that that expressive usually yeah and i'll never get shorter i'll probably keep getting taller until i die that would be such a weird like genetic issue benjamin button syndrome but with but with height i'm certain i'm nearly certain that is actually a thing i'm really certain that is actually a thing like you just did like one of the the gigantisms is just you, your body doesn't understand it's supposed to stop growing at some point and then it, it causes you a lot of problems very quickly. The human crocodile. Mr. Grinch. It is insane to me that we have not taken a species that doesn't die of old age and then kept it alive for hundreds of years in perfect health, in perfect conditions, just to see how big it can get. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that there were species that didn't die of old age. I thought everything died eventually of old age. No, crocodile. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ, what? Why is no, why has this not changed the world? Like, is this some sort of joke that's fucking nuts? <laughs> is this some sort of joke? Like, that's just not my understanding of how, like, biology works. You're like, haha, yeah, why haven't we done that? Ah, uh, shame that's not a thing. Wait, what? <laughs> Like, is that just, like, the final frontier of rebirth, then? It's like you keep getting reborn in different things until you're reborn as a crocodile and then you live well, forever? Well, technically, if you could endlessly, perfectly regenerate your cells, then you don't die of old age. But, you know, yeah. humans can't do that because shit keeps going wrong and then you die of old age. Yeah, but that happens with, like, animals, too. Crocodiles, on the other hand, are very good at it, but they, they live long enough that they will die of illness or wound or eventually get to the point where they're just oh. too old and too big to uh, hunt and eat properly and they'll starve to death of malnutrition. Isn't that essentially what happens to humans, though, just in a different scale? Like, it's not like like dying of natural causes isn't literally I am old and now now don't function. It's, well, my body can't you know, work but it's, anymore. It's because they grow forever, but don't die of old age, eventually they will grow to the point where it's unsustainable, but it's not literally being... Like, if you took a person and then artificially kept them in perfect medical conditions and artificially fed them and you know everything that was possible to make it impossible for essentially anything other than old age to kill them the person would still die whereas the crocodile would okay interesting so how do i become a crocodile <laughs> that is not something that you like seeing when you enter an area like on the list of things that are terrifying i'd say a cocoon the size of someone's house is is on there so exhibiting the signs of aging is called senescence okay and certain animals exhibit what's called negligible senescence, which is either virtually undetectable the signs of aging. So biologically, a seven-year-old right. crocodile is as as able and healthy and fit and you know fine in their body as a seventy-year-old crocodile. Okay. But that isn't to say that they would literally live forever. Apparently, that's been further research since last I uh, got into this subject. Honestly, that's unfortunate. I feel bad for crocodiles. But essentially, it would mean that... Um, and their lifespan's still insane if properly looked after. Like, there's been crocodiles that have lived to about 120. Well, I mean, that sounds less insane when you say it like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I mean, considering that that puts it one of the longest lifespans on the planet. And, like, for example, the Greenland shark that lives till over 400 is also another animal that has negligible senescence. And there's a shark which helps. So it would, it, so it would be if, if a 70-year-old human was looked and was as physically able as a, a 20 year old human but man that'd be nice <laughs> which to be, be fair nice. that's like that that's something that humans want like are working towards actively all the time if they can so i think it's the just, way you know, to the way to look at it and crocodiles can lose their teeth constantly but they can only regrow yeah. them a finite amount of times about 80 times mm, and eventually okay. once they're out of teeth they can't really do anything because they don't have teeth yeah so unless they're that in a zoo they're kind of fucked so uh, the best way to look at it is an animal with negligible senescence still has a lifespan it's just a incredibly long and b they won't like 
suffer the effects of being old physically until uh, they eventually die. If that you know, outside of running out of teeth. <laughs> yes. Though I guess you could argue that's not age, but you know, it sort of is age. She'd so be like, "Oh yeah, humans live till about 140, and physically they never go past you know 30. Then humans would have negligible senescence." The only mammal that has it is the naked mole rat, so... Why of all creatures? Because uh, they're, for mammals, rather cold-blooded and have incredibly slow metabolism, which is quite a common trait in animals that have this. But they're not fur furred animals. They're naked. <laughs> okay, they're st still a fucking mammal, all right? I didn't say they weren't mammals. But yeah, it's no coincidence that uh, deep-swimming sharks and reptiles tend to be the most common ones because they have just very very slow moving metabolisms and bodies well they also can be very slow moving in general so that makes sense that is true and the ocean i feel like takes off a lot of stress that's crazy though right it is i want to be a thousand like ah oh, i'm being chased by a, by a saltwater crocodile it's five years old it's just as scary as ah oh, i'm being chased by a saltwater crocodile it's 100 years old i'll be honest with you I think 99% of people would not take the time to work out the age of the saltwater crocodile that is chasing them. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess that's true! Wait, is this threatening? Let me age this crocodile. Like, I, I just think that doesn't even translate to other things. It's like, I don't think I would turn around and be like, Oh my god, it's a gorilla that's five years old! <laughs> But I wouldn't go like, Oh my god, a gorilla that's seven... Like, an old man gorilla can still kick my ass. Would you uh, rather be trapped for 24 hours in a shopping center? Sorry, um, a mall... Uh, I know what a shopping guy. Yeah, I, I know. I was. I was be, being English. In any case, would you rather be trapped in one for 24 hours with a single gorilla or ten black members? Single gorilla. Yeah, that is the objectively correct choice. But everyone always fucking chooses the black members, and it's like, are you insane? That's just so fucking wrong. Like, no. Like, never. No. What's the point? Why throw a flashbang if it's just going to hit me anyway? Well, you know, it's just, it's, it, it tried. Well, it's blind, so it doesn't have any choice. It doesn't know what it's doing. So yeah, it's power tech tech, power yeah. tech tech. Unless it does weird things, which it does. Unless it does weird things. It does feel like there's always just a slight element of uh, yeah, and anything could happen in stories one. I think they literally just have their own kinship meter that we can't see, and if they have enough for a skill, they use it. But I think we hit some sort of threshold because the music just stopped. Oh, is Roberto coming in now? Oh, yeah, he's going to revert the situation. He he is! He's gonna revert the situation from bad to good. That was pretty cool. Okay. Looked a lot like he just cut us in half there. Wait. He arrives, blocks one attack, frees us, stares us down, and then reverses himself away and lets us keep fighting? Correct. Yeah, now you can reset. What? I'm cool. Like, I don't under- Just help us fight the fucking Nersilla, Roberto. I'm really good at hit and run tactics. See ya. <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> Reverse your ass back in here! I'm Glass Cannon Roberto. All offense, no defense. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> like, is he gonna come back every time we get webbed, or...? I sort of I sort of want you to keep doing that. Oh, shit! And then he's gonna use this- he's gonna use a power next to the speed seal. Okay! Okay, we're okay! <laughs> okay. It's all good. Go on, shove your big cut cooey head in. I like that it's like one of the few monsters that doesn't use its head. Yeah, I think us having a proper weapon made a big difference there. Barely. Super skill- he didn't do anything! I mean, he stopped us from losing and filled us to full hearts and hell. That's so untrue, though. Do they? Is that what they say? I don't think that's what they say. I'm 100% sure that we said this the first time we played this game, but there is zero chance that for every mushroom there is a monster. So slimy. Bugs are, like, inherently not slimy. I'm gonna die, bro. Like, unless it's, like, a slug or a snail or mollusk type, but, like, the rest of bugs are very, like, smooth and dry. No, you misunderstand. He... hard chitinous shell. Like, what What are you touching, Roberto? No, you, you misunderstand. He touched the bug too hard, it popped, and now it's oh. slimy. Oh. It's like people that think snakes are gonna be slimy, which is insane to me. I mean, they have a, like, they, they give off a slimy energy, I guess. I mean, they're fucking wrapped. Like, it's not an eel. Yeah, but eels are eels. And are eels slimy, or is it just because they're underwater? They have a mucous membrane like most fish. Yeah, but are they slimy, but... or are they just friends? <laughs> they're covered in mucus. Yeah, but are they slimy? I didn't ask about their mucus. If you naturally produced slime, then you yeah, would but be slimy. I, I said slime, you said mucus. I'm just saying, those aren't necessarily slimy. Sorry, I have two things to bring up while we're in this freeze frame. Firstly, never is me meat would not fit on the spit because it's not long enough. Secondly, what is he actually doing? Um, you roll, remember that time I told you about that raven that kept regurgitating and yeah, eating yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. I yeah. think Navarua. 
<laughs> never who took that technique to heart. He's really going for it, too. Oh, he is. <laughs> like, if you could put a camera, like, in his mouth looking out, whoo! I like that we're just watching. Yeah, we're just staring like, huh? Oh, huh, yeah, that's normal. That's, that's This is some that's really good. chewy meat, Roberto. Did you overcook it a little <laughs> bit? Just, just don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Would you mind if don't I, like, regurgitated cat. this and dipped it in some water? I still think it's really offensive how many places on Earth are called new old place name. Is it is it offensive? I feel like it's supposed to be like, you know, like, in honor of this place. Well, yeah, because it's like they left the old one, and then everyone that was still there is still there, but then these group of people are like, you know what, this is the new, new that place, all right? Fuck well, they the want it, it's like, it's like an omen. It's like they want, they want it to be like, yeah, we want to make another one of those. That place is great. Except for New York, because first time. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, York. <laughs> wow, York is a lovely, charming, historic English town. Okay, it is, but I think it might have been a bit overshadowed. Yes, there might be a certain scale difference between New York. <laughs> that's and York. that's that's what I'm saying. Is there might have been a little bit of overshadowing By there. By a factor of a couple hundred. <laughs> you know, like sometimes it does take over a little bit. This looks like the Tigrix is really happy to see him. He's like, oh, Roberto! I love you, Roberto! Roberto, I'm gonna kill your family. <laughs> oh, Roberto, I'll regret it though, but I'm still gonna do it. Do you have a house you consider a mother? <laughs> Nagakuga gets to have all of the orphan making fun. Also, Tigrex's mouth is so big compared to its tongue. Like a dip in bin. Seriously, Roberto, where are you from? Oh, that Tigrex is about to eat him. I was like, whoa. Sorry, are you a demon slayer? The wind was my brain. Like, what, what is this? The water was like my blood, dude. Yeah, he's just grown up as an idiot. <laughs> like, literally. So I took a deep breath and I went, eighth form. <laughs> and then I, like, cut things up or something. Helmbreaker. <laughs> had a vision. <laughs> no, that's the monster's eye. That's not a vision. I completely forgot this. That's its this, vision. This whole story from Roberto is absolutely uh, insane. Pretty much. I was fun in a Tigrex and I swung at it and then it like bashed me in the head and I fell over and I heard the water and then I was like on my feet and the Tigrex was passed out. Wow. And then I had a vision. Like I thought he was about to tell us a story about like he, he was saved by his master who like killed the Tigrex when it was about to kill him. <laughs> But no, the Tigrex just like fucking died or something. <laughs> and I was the Tigrex, and the Tigrex was me. What? You felt in it's dead. <laughs> I woke up and I felt so connected to this Tigrex call. I guess you could say, like, the Tigrex killed me, and then its soul entered my body, and I'm actually a Tigrex in a human 100% the Tigrex just had a heart attack. Yeah, that's pretty. He really reverted that thing. <laughs> they could have so easily given him a story that wasn't just, and the monster died. I think the implication is that before the Tigrex could finish him, he finally understood and, and became a skilled hunter at one with the wind and actually hunted it. But there's like a really large gap that really just makes it sound like the Tigrex spontaneously died and then he had a yeah, vision. Yeah, like if that's, what they, if that's what they're implying, they could definitely be a little less vague with it. I don't know about that. I'm not really friends with 11-year-olds and talking cats. Actually, this is actually incredibly inappropriate that I'm out in the woods with you guys. Sort of sort of weird, honestly. I'm just going to give you this. I mean, no, it's fine that I'm out in the woods with you as long as, like, we get you home before it's too dark. I, I do like the upgrades to the uh, the factually better weapon in stories, too. That was a good decision. Look, he's trying his best. Like, it is really funny to me that he puts down the long sword and is a great sword user in the next game. It just grows, you know? It's the same sword. It just stretch over time. I love that when he's talking to us, he doesn't turn to talk to us. He just looks at the other people and says things directed at us. What? You know each other? That's crazy. Quite some while now. Quite some while? Yeah, she like was his friend in his hometown or something. Yes, but the fret quite sure it's quite some time now. Not quite some while. No, quite no, quite some while. It's been a lot of while. It's been a lot of whiles that we've known each other. Monster Hunter while. Monster Hunter while. While what? While what? I love that they're implying that he just has a weird mushroom addiction. Yeah, I know. It just clicks them. Like they give him they gave him the stoner voice and they keep talking about how much he likes mushrooms. <laughs> Which actually makes so much sense with his backstory and the visions. It really kind of does. It was just a fucking mushroom trip where he killed a Tigrex and he didn't know. Yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Which makes it really impressive in fairness. This all makes so much more sense now somehow. <laughs> I thought they were just censoring it because it was a children's game. No, it was just an explanation of a drug trip. It's using its mimic voice excessively. Kill it. Use it a little bit, just not excessively. <laughs> there is a limit to how much a uh, Kurapeko can mimic. Look, it's right there. Look at it. Look at this Kurapeko. I found it. I can see it from here. Why did they stick so many desert monsters in here? Because the desert's encroaching. They just said it's being weird. Bert, we're... Wait, did it say Bert? Oh, a brute, I guess. He looks so proud of himself. No, I just wanted to get the fast travel he first. Is. No, oh. Yeah, we did not walk towards him. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. A blight Brathian. That's a problem. Do we focus the Rathian or? Yeah, I don't know, because like obviously the Rathian's more dangerous, but surely the 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 Kurapeko's easier to kill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Big Blorb. Yeah, Blorb's good. I like how that number even took a second to pop up. It was like 107. Okay, good, 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 good. Honestly, I'd take one of these at the end of every turn. Oh, they're just good. Come on, kill Darkness Rathian. Oh my god! In no world did I think they were that low. I thought it was just down. I didn't realize it was dead. Yeah, it's dead. You really would think that it would be technique that beats power. And speed should beat technique, realistically. And speed would be should beat technique, yeah. Yeah, I agree with those things. And then power should beat speed. Yeah, it is really weird this way, isn't it? Like, power shouldn't beat technique. Like, being strong shouldn't beat someone who's good at stuff. Yeah, like, the strength shouldn't matter because you can't touch them because they're more skilled than you then the, the being more skilled doesn't matter because you can't touch them because they're so much faster than you. And being yeah. so much faster doesn't matter because they're so much more powerful than you. Exactly. Like I you feel can like hit that... them, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. You. So I, I feel like it does make sense to it all moved around a little. Why bit. do we think we, we're thinking too much about this game? It doesn't make it's all just falling apart at the scene. <laughs> it's all just falling apart. <laughs> like every time we think too hard about any individual part of this game, it stops making any sense. All right. Just... Like I love this game, but every every single thing that we have asked a question about has made less sense afterwards. Why does he keep getting to go first and then knock us up? Mm, I guess we'll we'll put bring out quest item for now. You regret calling him that yet? <laughs> I swear to God, if this Kurapeko finishes us, why is he so big? That's what I'm saying. The freaking perspective on these is so weird. <laughs> like it makes the monsters so much bigger comparatively than they should be. Well, at least he's not summoning a second back. Imagine just more blighted monsters. Yeah, it just keeps going until. <laughs> Until you eventually kill the Kurapeko. Alright, he's gonna use ice skate combo to fuck up. <laughs> he's gonna fuck up with his ice skate combo. Just bring out Aftersun, yeah. Aftersun. <laughs> and he's immediately going in for a technique. He's doing a technical thing. Oh my god, Aftersun! That's alright, he knows. He knows, he's smart. Yeah, he's, he knows what's going Holy on. Holy shit! The, the prodigal Aftersun! He knows what he's doing. He is! <laughs> he is not enough, no patience left for the shenanigans. Is it weird that I feel like Pokemon, a game that has so many more options of what you can do per turn, the enemies are more predictable than they are in stories in which they're supposed to have patterns. Not stories too, though. Why is this Pokemon back so tanky? Oh, okay. Yeah. I still maintain what I said. Reverna's standing there like, I was ready to, like, fix you. What happened, bro? I was gonna jump in at any moment, okay? Don't Just you worry about it. Just for one moment. But Please like, don't tell Poppy back. I want to get... No! Also, I love that the back, the version of her that's, like, in the background, like, because of the lighting in the room, it just looks like she's not wearing yeah, That's what I'm saying. It's a very unfortunate coloring. Oh, it's almost time for the, uh, talk to the manager. It's almost time to talk yeah. to the manager. It's almost time to talk to the manager. <laughs> oh, the fucking manager. I forgot. I can't wait to hear his voice. I know. <laughs> Can you talk to Metal Gun? It better, it better be perfect. Oh, it's going to be incredible. And the, the small chipmunk child. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the small chipmunk child. Oh, oh, we're reaching the meat now. We're reaching it. Oh, we really are. We really are. Oh, we're getting there. Getting the meat. I think we're 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 quite fast approaching Rathalos too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. Because I think all of this happens around the same time, doesn't it? Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen. Some more monsties have been monstered and some such. And now they can't monster anymore. And that's made the world a better place. Is the top of his beak orange? I don't know. I think so. Because it doesn't match the rest of his color. But now, if you want to watch this whole episode again just talk to Roberto or just but press the the button that says zero just literally press the zero key on your keyboard right now but they're gone now that's just no. they'll come back okay they'll keep them back <laughs> like if you enjoyed this subscribe to the bell for more consider supporting the future of the channel on patreon down below and until we meet again 
a good Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.